What's up, gang? It's Frontline, and I'm back with another. So check this out, gang. Look, we back, we reloaded, and we coming from a whole nother vibe. You know what I'm saying? We on this East Coast, this Southern East Coast, the South. You know, it's been a debate forever. We coming live out there water, man. So look, check this out. Break this news on Rod Wade. See, I'm going to give y'all the real. Everybody was reposting about, you know, Rod Wade got pulled over with a gun or whatever. But nobody knew what the real was. See, I'm going to give y'all the real. I'm straight from the live. So check this out. Rod Wade right now being investigated by the feds. And yeah, I say the feds. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, what y'all don't know is that little gun case, that wasn't nothing. See, what the was was the feds was already watching them, which I got the proof, so you ain't got, this ain't no clickbait type video, none of that. Y'all know, if you know, if you're a real fan, you're a genuine fan, y'all been around a long time. We don't just post nothing no here we can't prove. We got the whole rundown. We got the whole video. Yeah, we coming live and exclusive. We back and reloaded. Let's go. We're back to the subject. But anyway, what I didn't know you know, and I'm bringing this to y'all too. Uh, Rodarius Green, which is what Broadway name was, that this man was, you know, like that or whatever. So the videos that was found was linking him to this click gang or whatever they call themselves out there in Florida, you know, well, out here, because, you know, and they like, um, <clears throat> They say Rodway connected to this gang, the YGs, the Young Gunners, or something like that. And, you know, I'm finna put their pictures up here right here, too, so y'all can check that out. And, you know, these people really was stepping like that. And the feds been watching them for over two years, they say, in this video that I'm finna play for y'all. And this shit, cr I mean, excuse my friend, this stuff is crazy because, like, you never know, you know, people... You know, lice and what they really got going on. But I'm finna play this video. I ain't gonna talk y'all head off. I'm finna get straight to the lit facts, as we call it. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and getting that in. And then tell that comment section up. Let me know what y'all really feeling. Did y'all know we're always with like this here? Because I didn't. Tonight, where police held a news conference just a short time ago, announcing multiple arrests after a mass shooting on Easter Sunday. Surveillance video here captured the chaotic scene, and this led to the search of two homes and eventually the arrest of three men, all connected to a local rapper. Fox 13's Genevieve Curtis joins us live from St. Pete Police Headquarters. So Genevieve, this sounds like a wild story. What'd you find out today? Yeah, Allie, the assistant chief said the detectives have been working nonstop since that mass shooting outside of a sports bar on Easter Sunday. Thankfully, all of the victims in this case survived, but they say the suspects were charged with being connected to a larger criminal enterprise. They say they are also connected to a famous rapper. Take a listen to the chief earlier today. We're very fortunate that no one was killed. Now this is video from outside of the Sonic Sports Bar and Lounge showing the shooters firing multiple rounds. Police say they haven't been able to determine a real motive here for this shooting, but it led them to identify these three men as their suspects in that shooting. They were arrested on charges of attempted murder. They say this all led them to these two homes rented by artist Rod Wave, one in St. Petersburg, the other in Manatee County. After a search warrant, they found drugs and guns, including high power rifles. They also seized cash and jewelry you see here. Investigators say all three men are connected to a group called the YGs or the Young Gangsters, who've also been tied to ra rapper Rod Wave since the summer of 2023. Now, the police say that the YGs are living in homes. They're also driving cars that are registered to the rapper. And now the rapper Rod Wave was initially arrested at his home during this search warrant on charges of having a gun and being a felon in possession of a gun. Those charges have been dropped. He was released this morning from jail. But I asked the assistant chief if Rod Wave is facing any other charges. We don't know if he was there that evening when the shots were fired. We don't know if he had anything to do with it at that point. It's more the fact is that you have vehicles, you have residences, you have a complicity, complicit here to where we have to kind of just show, uh, and we can't ignore it. 
And in addition to the ongoing investigation, they say they do have warrants on two other individuals they believe are tied to that shooting from Easter Sunday. They are still looking for those two individuals. They say they also found a BMW at one of the residences tied to an unsolved shooting. They believe that there are more cases and more charges to come. Reporting live in St. Pete, Genevieve Curtis, Fox 13 News. All right, Genevieve, thank you.